Hey everyone, welcome to Judging for the Win. I'm Dave, and this is my daily ruling. Today's question was suggested by a viewer, thanks to MF, for this one. Amy controls a forest that's enchanted by a utopia sprawl. Nick controls a damping sphere. For the purposes of this question, we'll say that the chosen color with utopia sprawl was green. If Amy taps this forest for mana, how much will she add, and what colors will it be? In order to answer this question, we're going to need to take a close look at the exact wording on both the cards involved. We'll start with the Damping Sphere, and let's notice that this uses the word instead, indicating that this is a replacement effect. Such replacement effects actually interfere with the process of producing the mana. So anytime some land is getting tapped for mana, if the Damping Sphere sees that it's getting tapped for too much, then it's going to interact with that event and replace that event entirely with producing only one colorless mana. Now let's take a look at how the wording on the Utopia Sprawl looks, and we can see that this card actually uses the word whenever, indicating that this is a triggered ability. Now, triggered abilities interact a slightly different way with these mana abilities. So when the Utopia Sprawl sees the forest get tapped for mana, after the entire process of the mana ability resolves, and remember, this is the spot where the Damping Sphere gets to interact, then after that process is over, the triggered ability from the Utopia Sprawl is going to trigger, and it's going to give you an additional mana of whatever color you chose. So putting all of this together, we can see that what's actually going to happen when we tap this forest for mana is the following. We're going to tap it, and then that's going to cause us to add one green mana to our mana pool. Because this is only one mana, the Damping Sphere is not going to care about this, and so therefore it's going to pass us right on through. However, after we have tapped the forest for green, we're going to see the triggered ability from the Utopia Sprawl kick in, and that's going to give us a second green mana. So we can see that the answer to this question is going to be exactly the same as what the answer would be if the Damping Sphere wasn't even involved at all, that being that we would get two green mana. Alright, so now there's one other thing that I can hear some people probably thinking. Well, we know that the Tron lands get countered by the Damping Sphere, so those are worded pretty similarly, what's the difference? And before I bring the text of the Urza's Tower up on screen, I'd like to invite anyone who's interested in this sort of thing to maybe see if they can come up with an idea why this might be different. Alright, so now if we take a look at the Urza's Tower, we can see that it gives you 3 mana instead of giving you 1. Again, this usage of the word instead indicates that this is a replacement effect, and so therefore it's going to interact with the same part of the process as what the Damping Sphere did. And so if we were to tap the Urza's Tower for mana, we might see something that looks like this. First, we're going to tap it, and then we're going to be adding one colorless mana to our mana pool. At this point, the Urza's Tower is going to notice that we have all the Tron lands assembled, and so therefore it's going to replace that with getting three colorless mana. However, now the Damping Sphere is going to see this event, and it's going to say that we're tapping for too much, and so therefore it's going to replace that three mana with just one colorless mana. And so that's the reason why the Tron lands hate the Damping Sphere, whereas Utopia Sprawl doesn't really mind. But that's all I have for you today. How did you do? Join me again next time for another daily ruling, but until then, I hope you have a great day.